Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. Y'all, I want to first say thank you very much for the support that I get on this channel. I really do appreciate it. I know without you, I would not have a channel. So thank you very much. Okay, let's talk about the Democrats versus Republicans and the Republicans versus the Democrats. I got to say it both ways so I'll be down the center. Why are they always fighting each other? Why do we have to have party lines in America? Can we just be Americans? Every time I make a video and I say something negative against the Republicans, the Republicans are saying that I'm a traitor or I'm wrong or vice versa. If I say something negative about the Democrats, I get the same thing from them. I'm open-minded. I see both sides. I see the good and the bad in both sides. I hate both sides equally and I like both sides equally. I can pick and choose. I don't need a party to tell me how to think. I can think for myself. I know how to pick out what I believe and what I don't believe. I think it's very sad that we have to have party lines in America. Why can't people just work for a common goal? Why can't we just work for the good of the people? Why, why do we have to have a party? Most people that's in a party, they're die hard that party. Even if they know in their heart, in their conscience, if in their soul that it's wrong, they will go with it because it's part of their party. Y'all, that's wrong. We need to work for the betterment of our nation and our people. The stimulus checks. Okay. Again, fighting on both sides. Uh, one's pulling this way, the other one's pulling that way. Then when they start to pull together, they they realize, uh oh, we're agreeing. We gotta get we gotta stop this. So they start fighting and going the other way. If you remember Nancy Pelosi, she was holding out for this big package that she knew she wouldn't get. Well, in in real real life, when she when we get this package that's coming now, with the package that we just got last month, she's getting that package, so she is going to get her big stimulus package. It's just going to be in two parts. But how many times could we had a two thousand dollar stimulus check? But she said no because she wanted everything. She said nothing is better than some. So there she was pulling against the American people. Then, on the other hand, you had Mooch, the Mooch Man. He was just sitting on everything. He was saying, no, it's dead in the water for everything that come across the board. He would not help the American people at all because he wasn't getting his wants met. Okay, now today we've got Joe Manson. He says a stimulus package and a stimulus check is a waste of time and waste of money. And we should not get it because people will be getting this check that don't really need it. Well, what I say about this is everybody needs it. Uh, because even if you still got your job, if you didn't lose anything, okay, this is a windfall for you then, okay? You're going to get the stimulus check. In return, that gives you more money to spend. People does not understand how money generates more money. When they're out spending this stimulus check, they're generating tax revenue over and over and over again. It don't stop. So even if the people gets it that don't need it, that don't particularly deserve it for what people says, they're still helping the economy. So therefore, everybody should get it. But he will not understand this. Pat Toomey, he says the stimulus package should be cut in half with no stimulus checks at all. Y'all, please remember these people when you go to vote. I mean, 
mean, aren't we all working for the same bottom line, for the same goal? I mean, to get our country out of this funk that we're in, why does it have to be red state, blue state? And a lot of people don't want to help the poorly run blue states. If you look hard enough, you can find waste and poorly run areas in every state. It's not about a red state or a blue state. It's about the United States. Common sense. Does anybody even have common sense anymore? I mean, yeah, they've got all this book learning that they went in all these big universities to get. But I, I, I really don't believe you can have common sense and book sense at the same time. I just don't think the two goes together. Everyone is saying Joe Biden is not keeping his promise. He said that he would send out the stimulus checks right on his first day in office. Y'all, he did not say that. He said he will go to work on it on this first day in office. And he is working on it. Right now, he's doing the things that he don't need approval from Congress to get done. As you know, the House is out on recess until the end of the month. I mean, and people's complaining that it's to the end of the month. It's not that long. I mean, what's today, like the 23rd? And they're still gonna be working. I mean, yeah, we like to say they're on vacation, but they're not, they're, they're working. Nancy Pelosi said that they're gonna be working on everything that they can while they're out. That way, when they come back to Washington, they'll be ready to go with it. So I still believe the stimulus check will be coming probably mid-February because it's going to go through pretty fast once they come back. And even if it don't, Joe Biden can push it on through with his presidential orders. Uh, I believe Joe Biden is going to hold up to his end of the deal. We just have to give him time. I mean... Come on, the man ain't been in office but what, three, four days now? He can't do it overnight. But I am so sick of the Democrats and the Republicans fighting, and you can't say one good thing about the Democrats without the Republicans jumping on you, and you can't say one good thing about the Republicans without the Democrats jumping on you. It's crazy. Y'all, I'm an American, and I am very proud of that. Our country is way too divided with party lines and all of this he said, she said shit. We need to get our act together as Americans. We are not a party. We are Americans. I feel fully confident that Joe Biden is going to send out these stimulus checks just as fast as he can. He's working on it. We thought that he would sign that executive order yesterday and he didn't but really he wants to get bipartisan support on this that way it will go through that fast because if he signs an executive order they're going to hold it up all they can and remember those wedges that i always talk about that president trump put between him and everyone well if he does this through executive order there's that wedge he won't be able to get nothing else done. I do feel confident that the stimulus checks are coming. We just have to be patient. I mean, we've waited, what, seven or eight months now? What is a few more days? I mean, President Trump didn't get them out. So, I really believe President Biden will. Y'all, Let's try to be good Americans. Let's try to be friends. I mean, because I believe a certain way, that don't mean you have to believe that way. And just because you believe a way don't mean, mean I have to believe that way. The beauty of this whole thing that we call America and being Americans is we have the freedom to choose what we believe and what we don't believe. And we can still be friends. Y'all, I am so sick of party lines. I wish they would come up with a party named the American Party. 
I know talk is out that Donald Trump is going to start his own party. That I'm just guessing it's going to be named the Patriot Party. But I want the American Party. I wish I could run for president. <laughs> I would I would start my own party, the American Party. Y'all, I love you all. We will get through this. But we have to come together in unity before we can even dream of getting through anything. We gotta stop all the fighting and start a little loving. Start some hugging and stop the shooting. Stop the violence. We gotta shake hands and hug again. Y'all, I love you all. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. We will get through this. And maybe one day it won't be about the Democrats or the Republicans. Maybe it'll be about the Americans. I love you all. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. And until next time, ciao.